Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm coming to you today with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know I love you so much. Pretty sure you can already tell by the title. This is going to be a business video. So this video is going to be how to start a sunglass line. This video is definitely highly, highly, highly requested upon others. So I want to make sure I dive into this content for you guys. Um, this is your time right now to go get you a book, a piece of paper, get your phone to take notes, pull out a notepad. You need to do something because the things that I'm going to share in this video is going to be full of knowledge, very important information. You know what I'm saying? So for those of you who do not know me, I have my own sunglass business, which is 919 Frames. So I really know a lot about the business and I'm going to be teaching you guys some things today. Don't forget, if you have not seen my other videos, go and check out the How to Start Your Own Sunglass Business playlist. I will try to link everything down below. I usually like link the playlist and everything down below, but go check it out. Binge watch these videos back to back to back. I'm adding more. Make sure you comment down below your questions so I can answer more of your questions. And we are going to dive into it now. Let's get it. Okay, Angel. So I have my binder here. This is my lovely, lovely work binder. That's what I call it anyway. But um, I have like some questions here that you guys have been frequently asking me in reference to how to start a sunglass line. So if you guys see me looking down, just understand that I just need to stay on cue for you guys so you can get this information. So first question, how much does it cost to start a sunglass line? So, two things that you need to focus on when you're talking about um, the cost of a sunglass line, and that is, number one, the cost per unit. Your cost per unit is how much it costs per pair of sunglasses. Now, this will affect your price because, of course, the better the products that you use, better materials, um, more details, more money that you're going to invest in actually starting your business as opposed to if you were to try to start it on more of a low budget or cheaper uh, end where you like do cheaper materials and so on and so forth. The second thing you need to take into account is the minimums. The minimums is the minimum amount of sunglasses you have to order per batch. Most um, companies that you work with, they're going to have some type of minimum. Some call it a MOQ, minimum order quantity. And basically, you're going to have to decide that with whatever manufacturer that you choose. Um, you're going to have to decide if you're doing like private labeling or if you're actually doing like custom frames. So your, min your minimum is going to play a part because that's going to determine at least to a minimum how much you have to spend with that particular manufacturer, okay? Like, you know, some companies might ask you to do a minimum order quantity of $100. You already know right then and there you have to spend $100 to get started. That's a minimum, okay? So how you balance the two of these things will ultimately decide um, how much money you're going to be um dishing out starting for it so it normally costs between five thousand dollars to fifteen thousand dollars um this is just an estimate and this is for again a sunglass line guys this video is specialized for a sunglass line if you're looking for how to start a sunglass business you want to do wholesale inventory and everything you need to go over to the wholesale playlist and you need to click on that video how to start a sunglass business okay let's go so how to manufacture sunglasses first you want to know the details of your sunglasses um, this is how you're actually going to come up with a prototype with your manufacturers you need to know what it is that you want to create you need to have a general idea you know no this is why I say you need to know the details of your sunglasses so just sit back and take some time and think about you know what you would like your glass to look like and everything like that um, you will also need to know what do you you want to sell do you want to just sell sunglasses um you can't actually up your profit mar margin if you actually start adding other things to your site like if you want to do the custom glasses and custom headbands or whatever it is for you so you want to think of ways where you can upsell your business at um um, upsell your business as well. The next thing you want to think about is who are your sunglasses for? So this is going to be your target audience. Um, it's very important to know what your target audience is, your target market. Usually the people who buy designer sunglasses are those who are devoted to fashion and have a good idea of disposable income. 
Those who want the cheaper sunglasses are likely to buy knockoff luxury brands at kiosks or at the shops, major retailers such as Walmart or Target. So you need to know your target audience and that's going to help you figure out where you're actually selling at, what you're actually selling, how much it's going to actually be. You need to know your target audience. Who are you selling to? Who is this product for? Is these sunglasses custom made for mommy and daughter? Is this a baby sunglass line? Is this sunglass line custom made for husband and wife? Like, what is this all about? You know, is this sunglass line for somebody that um like high and stuff like you know designer stuff but they can't afford it at all so you going to like design high end custom made glasses with low end prices i don't know the choice is yours also you need to decide what your sunglasses will be made from do you want them to be plastic do you want them to be wood what do you want your frames to be like? What do you want your glasses to be made of? These are questions that you need to ask yourself. This is why I'm going through this with you because I want to get you guys in a mindset of understanding where your mind should be at for the business. So are there any competitors that's doing the same thing that you're doing? Like whatever it is that you figure out for your niche, do you have any competition? Because you always want to check out your competition. Always check out your competition. Even if it's just another sunglass line, they might not even be doing the same niche as you. You want to know your competition. Okay, now, is your sunglass line going to require private labeling? Or is it going to be private labeling and custom um, frames? Or is it just going to be custom manufacturing? The choice is yours. Um, I will say the more that you know about your product, the easier it is going, the easier it is going to be for you to get started. So once you actually know what your product's going to be, your target market, you got a general idea, the next thing you want to do is you want to head over to Google. And once you get to Google, you want to search certain phrases like sunglass manufacturers. You want to um, research sunglass private labeling. And this will basically help you determine who your manufacturer company will be. Now, this will take you a lot of time and energy. It's going to take you a lot of money. And this is probably one of the hardest steps that you're going to come across when you're actually starting your sunglass line because obviously your manufacturer is going to be the people that bring the dream alive. They are going to take this idea that you have, create a prototype for it, and actually create a product worth selling. So you need to make sure you got a good um, manufacturer. Now, I took all the hard work out for you guys. If you go to shop919.com, shop919frames.com, I have a whole wholesale tab. Go over there and click over there and go to the option of starting your own sunglass line. And you will find manufacturers, you will find private labeling companies, you will find exactly what it is that you need. Took all the hard work out for you guys and I made sure that I put people on there that was good companies, reliable, trustworthy, everything. So check down below. I also try to leave the link here for you guys, but check down below for um, the link to the website. Okay, Angel, so the next question is how do I start? So first and foremost, you want to focus on building a small but loyal audience. You want a small but loyal fan base, you know what I'm saying? Because starting out, you want to think in the terms of building something that's more stable and firm. Now, a lot of people jump into it and they think in on a bigger scale of things, but guys, allow yourself time to grow. Don't think that you have to do everything all at once or everything has to be like on a big gigantic scale. Like Google didn't start off as Google, you know, Amazon didn't start off as Amazon the way it is. Like everything just takes time to grow. So just focus on just building that small audience that you know will be actually interested in a product. It takes a few months of back and forth between you and your manufacturer to actually launch your first, first pair of sunglasses. So in this time, you want to start off just like building that audience, like start a social media page and stuff like that. So you can actually, you know, start doing some advertising that you are actually starting a business, you know, so people can actually look out for your company. So a general rule of thumb is that you want to budget or allow at least six months to build your product and your audience. So allow at least that first six months. So within this six month period, you're gonna be like going back and forth with the manufacturer. You're gonna be coming up with ideas, different prototypes. You're gonna be, you know, sketching up different ideas, different designs. You're gonna be trying to decide if you want your private label on there. You're gonna just be in the 
groundwork of everything, just allow six months. Six months, you know what I mean? Just be putting some money to the side during that six months. Six months to actually um, work with your manufacturer. And within that six months, at, this is all you multitasking. Within that six months, you also want to like start that fan base or just start to figure out who's your audience and you know who's your target market, who's going to buy this product. Okay, so you want to start with the business name. Once you come up with a business name, then you're going to actually go and check online, check your little database. You're going to see if this business name is actually already taken. You don't want a business name that's already taken. You're just wasting your time. So think of some different creative things. And I always like to say just like kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple. Make sure it's a name that is easy for people to spell and try to keep it short too because people are just slow and just they don't have the patience to think. So to make it easier for yourself, um, come up with an easy, simple name that you can remember, that they can remember. And you also want to check um, the local database to make sure this name is not taken. And you also want to um, register your business name as well once you come up with that name and realize it's not taken. Um, also, another tip is to go on social media and make sure that name is not like on nobody's private page or certain business pages or anything. Because some people start businesses, but they don't do it legally. So somebody else might already have your name tied up and something else. So just research, 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 okay? So register. The next thing you want to do is you want to register your business. So register your business legally. You know, whether you want it to be a sole proprietorship, LLC, whatever, go through the steps of register your business legally. Um, I also did videos on that too. Check the playlist. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to register your business for taxes. You want to make sure you got your EIN number. You want to make sure you're ready to go. So you also want to open up a business account, or open up um, a credit card. If you can open up a credit card for your business, um, this will allow you to like um, invest in the business and put all your business expenses there. Um, also, this allow you to separate your private money from your actual business money. So you got to have like a separate business account. Um, the next thing is, how does a sunglass line make money? A sunglass line makes money by charging a profit margin on each pair sold. The more popular and rare a particular product is, the higher the profit margin will go. So if you're designing something that's just like more popular, like everybody's wearing this type of style, um, then you're going to have more of a higher profit margin because you could charge more for those frames. If it's more something that's on a low end, cheap budget type, then that's going to like lower your profit margin because obviously you can't charge but so much for that particular design, that particular frame, whatever it may be. The question is, how much can you charge customers? The top sunglasses can be sold for four hundred thousand or more though the average line sells between a hundred dollars to three hundred dollars so when you are doing a sunglass line it's basically a way for you to make more money and like charge the clients more because everything is custom made but also take into account that everything is coming out of your pocket and you're going to have to invest in that business before you actually get to see uh, ROI, which is a return on your investment. So that's the kind of things that should be going through your mind where you're trying to think, should I do a sunglass line or sunglass business? You know what I'm saying? So you'll be able to charge more like on average, most people with sunglass line, they charge between like 100 to $300, you know, per frame. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you obtain your necessary permits and licenses. This is going to vary by state. So you want to go online, check with your state registration and everything and see what type of permits and license that they require. Because sometimes you can just start your business online. You might not need certain permits or whatever. So, you know, do your research within your state. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to get business insurance. This is something that you may or may not want to do, but I'm going to give you guys all of the important steps anyway. You know what I'm saying? So like business insurance is something that you definitely want to look into. The next thing you want to do is you want to define your brand, your colors, your logos, your designs, etc., your packaging, design your brand. You know, figure out what color scheme you want to go with. Figure out, you know, what materials you're going to use for your designs, your frames, everything like that. You know what I mean? Figure out what your packaging is going to look like. Are you going to do, like, um, cases for the sunglasses? Are you going to do, um, 
the sleeves to put the sunglasses in are you going to do boxes like what 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 does your brand look like you have to bring your brand to life um the next thing is to start your own website for the business and you want to start some social media accounts with the social media accounts that's going to allow you to build that small tight knit audience that's already looking out for you and already have this interest of what your product is and you want to start your website because this is like another avenue where they're going to shop and we'll talk about that a little bit later as far as where you're going to be selling your sunglasses okay next next thing i want to mention to you guys is that you don't need to be an eyewear designer to actually start your own sunglass line um, your manufacturer should be able to take the ideas that you're giving them or take whatever prototype, whatever you drafted and wrote down. They should be able to take that and bring your vision to life. That is their whole entire job. They should be able to listen to what you're saying and try to create something in reference to what it is that you want. So this is why you have to be really strategic with these manufacturers. Um, but you do need to understand that the process of how a sketch of an idea actually turns into a packaged product. So just understand that in your mind. Okay, so moving right along, once you have an actual finished product, you should be excited. You're like, okay, I got a finished product. I already chose my manufacturer. I got my website going. I'm registered, everything like that. This is like right where you're getting to the point where you're ready to sell, okay? Social media is going to be your best friend. You have to start focusing on marketing now. You have to start figuring out how you're going to market this product and stuff like that. Some manufacturers actually help you with marketing as well, give you different ideas of how you can upsell, how you can add other products and things of that nature. Um, so do your research on that, but also you are going to be your brand's best friend. So make sure that you are your brand, you wear your brand. You know what I'm saying? I should see you in your sunglasses all the time. People should be asking you about it. Word of mouth is very important. Make sure you spread the word out to all your family and friends, do a YouTube video and things of that nature. The next question is where would you sell your sunglasses? So you can sell your glasses online. You can sell your sunglasses in store. If you want to actually start an actual brick and mortar store, you can sell your sunglasses in store. Um, you can sell them at like small kiosks you know like at the mall um campus malls you know college students just i guess it just depends on your target market too um you can sell it at flea markets you can do fairs special events you can do etsy amazon you can sell on instagram facebook you can sell anywhere nowadays you can go to the marketplace all depends on how you want to actually run your business okay so these are the most important tips that you guys need to know to start your sunglass line. Once you guys get all of this in order, I'm sure you will start to have more questions for me. This is the basis of everything. And keep in mind, if you're going to do an actual brick and mortar store, there's going to be um, some other things you have to add in there for the simple fact that you might end up with employees and then it's tax stuff that you got to do for your employees. And there's definitely going to be more permits, licenses, and different things like that. But if you're trying to start your business online, this is exactly where you need to start. So if you um, really enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the playlist. Don't forget to check out the vendors list. Also, there's vendors on there for different things. Not just sunglass line. You know, sunglass business, sunglass line, shoe vendors, hair vendors, lash vendors. If you're ready to get your business started... Then you need to go down to the link shop 919frames.com, click on the wholesale tab and shop. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Just comment down below your questions. Mm -hmm.